Hey guys, hey guys, it's Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken, and I have an Amazon haul. Anyway, so uh, let's check it out and see what it is. If you'd please hit that thumbs up button, it really helps me out a lot. And um, if you feel like it, I appreciate comments. So let's see what we got here. Oh wow, this takes up the whole box. I might have a little trouble. I just was covering my, uh, I made this for my Happy Planner. So let's see what we have here. This is a twin pack kale blue Scott curled in here. Yeah. Anyway, I was expecting two different types of seeds. So um, I don't know where the other one is. It's definitely not in here. This is pretty heavy. This is a groovy, I guess. Make your daily clean much smarter. It is a um, smart vacuum cleaner that rolls around on the floor. And uh, I got it on a lightning deal the other day. So I've always wanted one, but I just can't afford the name brands. Looks like it's been opened. That's all I'm saying. So let's open it up and check her out. I'm so excited. Like I said, I've been wanting one of these for a while. And um, yeah, they're just way too expensive. So I thought I'd get a knockoff and if I liked it and then eventually one day I can afford the name brand. Yeah. I'll get it. This one had really good reviews, and a couple of people who said they had the name brand ones um, bought this as a replacement, and they're very happy with it. And um, so, yeah, this is the box. I guess. I guess that says a groovy. I don't really know. <laughs> and. To some foamy stuff, a quality service card, a quit start guide, a remote control. It almost looks like an old timey telephone with a little screen. Uh oh. This is the cord and some type of tie wrap. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. See if your race said it's time to let me out. I want to go out. <laughs> anyway, so um, this looks like the charging base. Looks like some batteries. This looks like an air conditioner. I mean, the air conditioner. This is some type a filter. It's a little bitty filter. Super cool, right? Oh wow, look at those wheels. Oh they I'm like, oh look at those wheels. They stick out a lot, but they push down. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Looks like a little cleaning tool. some little brushes for the wheels. 
I mean for the bottom to and then the charging base so that's pretty cool I'm excited to get it set up and start using it I hope I really like it and um, also also uh, I'm probably I'm gonna be using this for this room the kitchen and the hall for right now then later once we get the uh, family room finished um, it'll be doing in the family room as well but we don't have any type of flooring or anything in there right now we are still we still haven't uh, repaired it from the flood from 2017 but you know budget just won't allow that at this time and we'll get it done eventually but um, the hall the kitchen and this room are all on the same level same flooring and um so this is where we're going to be using it at so i guess i will get it set up and turn it on and see what happens all right i guess i'll read the instructions and put it together so we can get started I've already plugged the base into the wall. I found a place that I've decided to put it where I wanted to put it. I couldn't, I didn't have a plug that would reach that far. It has a really long, nice cord, but, um, and the, there was a plug near it. It's just, it was on top of the counter and I couldn't make it go down to the floor. There was, without drilling a hole and I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sit here for a minute and read these, and I'll be right back. Okay, it basically looks like it just says to put these little things on here, and then, yeah, I guess it's showing this is the correct way, and this is not the correct way. Oh, okay, I see it's not against the wall. I was like, what's the difference in the picture? I fell loud. Okay, I'm going to figure out how to put these on. There are four of these, so I don't know if there is a, a spare or what, because it looks like there's only two on here. And then um, I already have it against the wall like that. I already have it plugged in like that. There's room around it, I think. I think there's enough room around it. So I'll put these on. I'll put the batteries in the remote and I will be right back. I don't want you to have to wait for me to do all of that. It does, however, look like this here just snaps into these little grooves right here. And uh, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do is snap them in there. It has a little hole in the center, but there's no hole here. It's just a square. And, um, so, I'm just going to pop them on there. There are four of them. They all look the same. So, so yeah. batteries out. I'm not really to the battery stage yet. I did hear on the news that some store is going to stop selling batteries that aren't rechargeable. I don't remember what store it was, like Kohl's or something. I'm getting the remote out, but I'm not going to put the batteries in it till I read it in case I'm not prepared. And um, the next step says uh, remove the sticker next to the power switch and the foam blocks beside the bumper before use. So here is a sticker beside the power switch and I'm not really sure why it's there. So let's turn it over and read it. Remove sticker before use. Switch on on the bottom. I guess they're just trying to tell you that the switch is on the bottom and it's covered. It has a nice cover on it, like an indoor outdoor switch cover. And um, so I'm just going to pull this off. And then there is a, another one here. 
it says tips remove before use so can just move that that's probably I'm not really sure where oh here's another one here's a wheel that spins around and these are pretty big wheels this is the first time I've ever seen one of these or touched one so the wheels go up and down here's this in here and these spin this comes out off and here's your wheel I'm not really sure where the oh yeah these are bumpers I guess so when they hit the wall it indicates so it can turn around it's a very easy move moves very easy so you don't have to worry about it hitting the wall very hard I'm not really sure what this is Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. And I'm not really sure where this little filter goes. This little filter here. And like I said, there are two more of these. These might be just replacements. So I'm going to read on and I'll be back. I did notice here it says three feet. So I'm, I'm assuming it's a three feet space. It could, it could mean three feet on each side, but I don't know. I don't have three feet on each side, and I don't have six foot in front of it, so I guess I'm gonna need to move that. I'm actually glad that it has a remote. I'm actually glad that it has a remote. I am tired, sick and tired of buying stuff, and the only way you can use it is to download an app to your phone. I'm tired of downloading apps to my phone. I don't want to download apps to my phone. I want everybody in the house to be able to use the devices that I buy, and um, I don't want them using my phone. So I don't want to download an app that everybody has to touch my phone. I have touching issues. <laughs> anyway, I've been trying to download everything on my iPad, but uh, I'd really rather download it on uh, the house computer where everybody can use it and it's convenient. It's not convenient if I'm watching a movie and somebody wants to change the temperature or uh, check the cameras outside. I don't like that. So I want some camera system that I can view and hook up to the computer or laptop that's not involving my phone. Anyway, I know it went off on a little rant, but I'm just trying to say that it's good that it has a remote. I know everybody's into the, oh yeah, I can download an app. Well, when that is your only option is to download an app on your phone and then that's the way it's used, that's not a good option. The option is that if you want to download it on your phone, you can, not that you have to and that's your only option. I'm just saying, I don't like that at all. So I'm going to put the batteries in this. This is ready to charge. It says fully charged before use, so I'm going to charge it up and I will be back. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hope it didn't get tumbled in that. Anyway, I only put that there because I sweat first, and I forgot to uh, I forgot to uh, see. I have it over here, but I guess I'm gonna have to move it. And uh, I need to pick up this trash real quick. I swept all that up just a minute ago, and uh, we have two dogs, so we got lots of hair. And, uh, yes! <laughs> okay, I moved it over there. Put it over here. And I picked up all that stuff that I swept up. And uh, it is. Still have to put the baseboards up after replacing the floor. And we need to get a, one of those to replace that. There he is right there. Oh, I gotta. I got to pick that pile of trash up too. I'm going to leave these here because I don't want it to pick that up. And uh, yeah, let me uh, get that up real quick. Because I swept before I checked the mail because that just came in the mail. 
Seems to be working pretty good. They have a mop one too. They might not be able to get out of there. We'll see. Oh no, it's going under the chair. Okay, let's see what happens. I think it's going to need some help. Oh. Okay, we're going to help it. I don't know what's underneath there. Just went under the chair. <laughs> okay. Just went under the chair. I don't know if it can get out. Oh, here it comes. Good. Good. I was a little worried. There's a lot of dog hair underneath there for sure. Every time I move these chairs and sweep under them, there's like a ton. Yeah, I think it just got stuck. Yeah, I see it. I see it all in a goggling. See? It just got stuck. Oh. I was going to touch it, but I think it's working its way out. Anyway, I better go pick up that trash in the other room. Laugh out loud, there's what I picked up before I started vacuuming. And uh, it's made its way through onto the rug, so the chairs are seem to be a problem. It will eventually figure it out, but... It won't stay in one room. It keeps going back and forth. That is one good thing about the other two name brand ones. Uh, they map the they map the area out. And this one just runs wild. It did this whole space here earlier, but it looks like it's going to go over it again. And we had to replace the floor because the dishwasher went out, leaked everywhere. It's my new dishwasher. And I gotta move these mats too, I guess. But yeah, we'll eventually get the molding all back in. I guess we'll have to order some, especially that piece right there. It's a special piece. I don't have one here because the floor is the same. But over here, the floor goes a different direction. It goes this way, and then all this floor goes this way. And so does that floor in there. This is where I wanted to put it. But this uh, counter is uh, bar high. So you can put a chair here and work. And uh, there's no way to get the plug down here. Plugs at the top. So I did get that up. I just need to move those shoes and stuff. Anyway, I guess I'll be back. <laughs> There's where I put the base over there. Anyway, the dogs are upset that I'm moving stuff around. That's the living room. See, the floor's not done. Just got the junk covered up here. Anyway, so yeah, seems to like, oh, it may be stuck. Look at that. It went over the edge. Went over the edge. Uh, this wall isn't finished. We need to put the wall on this side. So it went over the lip here. Went over this lip and went down there. And so now it's stuck. Oh, I was going to turn the light on, but I brought it to the other room. So I'm just going to have to help it, I guess. So, yeah going to do it again. This is going to be a problem because this lip here is apparently not, it's apparently not, high enough. It's headed toward there. Just wondered, it did. It went to the edge and it turned around and came back. It's the first time that it's went toward the edge. 
And this is the Groovy, I guess. G-O-O-V-I. It keeps going underneath this chair. It's basically going in the same pattern, back and forth in the same area. One time it went that way, but other than that, it's been in, it's just been in this area here, underneath here, and in the hall. It keeps going in those directions. It's not going in here or nothing. Here it comes again. But at least it's sweeping. It could sweep all day for all I care. To sweep it all up. It's going back toward the edge. That does edges really good. It goes to the edge and turns itself right around. It's the first time it tried to go under this chair, but there's a steel bar down there because this is a, a heavier chair. It's a lift chair. Yeah, so that's good. The floor needs mopped as well. They have one of these that's a mop. Oh look, it stopped short of the wall. Did you see that? Anyway, going toward the base. Oh, I found my next thing that I would like to have. It's going to be a while, but I would like a leaf blower so I can walk around and blow the hair off the edges of the, uh, what in the world was that? Oh, look. It literally, it scratched the floor. I heard it. It looks like a rock. It didn't hurt it though. It was just, I don't even know what that is. But it started on me. I'm like, oh no, it scratched the floor. But it wiped off. It's all good. It's all good. It's a new floor, so I'm just like freaking out. <laughs> I'm glad that it goes over that because I don't have that trim down yet. Okay, I guess I can follow him all day. Those are my father-in-law's cokes. Okay guys, life out loud, it fell off the wall in there again. So uh, I picked it up and it turned itself off. And so I picked it up and uh, I turned it over and looked. And look at this. Look at this. It's a mess. It's a mess. I've only been running it a few minutes. What? Look at that. Anyway, I guess I'll clean it. And uh, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. And I also wanted to uh, just say, oh, what is this? I see, a, do I see a light? I do, I see a light. Okay, so it must be a edge detector. Anyway, guys, this is the Groovy. The Groovy, I guess, the Groovy. I'm gonna call it the Groovy. Groovy D380 vacuum cleaner. And, um, I guess I'll keep using it and in a few days or a month I will uh, let you know how it's been working out for me. Okay guys, this is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken sitting on my love and my hugs and um, yeah, it seems to be working just fine other than, yeah look at this, looks like you're probably going to have to replace these because stuff like this, I don't even know where that came from. dog hair. Got two dogs. String. Makes you wonder where all this stuff comes from. Okay guys, this is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken sitting on my love and my hugs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have a um, automatic vacuum cleaner like this. 
this name brand, a different name brand, the name brands, <laughs> and how you like it. The, the kinds you've got, list the name, the kinds you have, and if you like it, or and what you don't like about it, what you do and don't like about it, and what you'd like to have different. And um, yeah, because I'm going to be researching these, but I got this one because it was on a flash sale on Amazon, and um, yeah, I really wanted one, so I'll use this one till I can afford a better one. Super hugs. This is Lisa. Okay, I already have an update. I figured out where the thing was to clean it with. Look at this. This is what I got so far, and it's just barely been running a few minutes. And you've seen all that stuff I sweeped off. And I guess this is where the filter goes. And it's already really dirty. So, yeah, that's crazy, right? There's the wheel. And, uh, yeah. It's crazy, right? Crazy, crazy. I set it on its base and um, I have it scheduled to start at 8.45 and uh, so it's almost 8.45 so I wanted to see what would happen. I have it scheduled to start at 8.45. I don't know if it has a start in the end time or if it just starts and runs till it runs out of battery and then comes back to the base or what. So I guess we'll figure it out. You can go upstairs. You can take your cookie upstairs. Uh-huh, go ahead. You can go in Daddy's room. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how much more time we have. It is 44, 844 p.m. And uh, it's supposed to start at 845. And uh, I will say this. I do believe it, it does feel like a very well-made product. It's very nice. It may not have the technology of the mapping system that maps your floor and goes along those map lines. The puppy spilled some water, so let's get that up. Did say not to let it go over water. I'll be right back. Laugh out loud. I was afraid it would uh, start going before I got back, but. Her water bowl's right here, so. Okay, let's, let's watch it. Just gonna wipe this up. <laughs> There's her water bowl. She was messy, messy, messy. I know it has to be any second now. Anticipation is making me wait. Anyway, um, like I said, um, other than the mapping system, it just goes everywhere it wants to go. Um, that's the only feature that I see missing because it definitely seems good, well made. <laughs> I just want to check the clock. Oh, so it says eight forty-six. It didn't start. It didn't start. I, I must have did something wrong. The remote control says eight forty-six p.m. Hmm. So uh, I don't know what I did wrong. So I'm going to reset it. Wait. The problem is, is that it doesn't, it doesn't go in. It won't do for, it'll do 30, 15, and uh, that. So um, I guess I didn't set it right. Oh. I didn't expect that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm 
So I guess that's all I can share with you at this time. It did get very dusty. It just, it's amazing how dusty it got. What is it, Stevie? Stevie's looking at it, he's like, what? Mommy, I wanna come in now. What is that? I wanna <laughs> chew it up. He would definitely chew it up. Somebody's jealous because I was talking to Stevie. She don't like that. She went, she went back to her room. She's clean. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys, uh, y'all have seen enough. This is Lisa. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And till we meet again, super hugs. Yeah.